Good evening and welcome to this week's episode of Eat, Crit and Survive, where some friends have gathered around the table, festively, I guess, <laughs> hey. to oh, I play some that. Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Woo. Festive. <laughs> Dungeons. For the last time this year. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, I'll see you next year. Oi. Get that dumbass comment out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess, I guess Connor's leaving <laughs> now. Uh, oh, you campaigned of one? No. He's not coming back. Oh, People sad. say that. I hope you stub your toe when you get up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet. <laughs> is this, is this that minor curse thing? <laughs> yeah. Like the minor curse of the British Sea Act that people were doing. I hope that you m- give yourself a paper cut just here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not enough to be annoying and problematic like if it was here, but just there. I'm not, work, not back at work till January, so I've been telling everyone today to see you next year. <sighs> Guess what? You're stubbing your toe this week. <laughs> <laughs> you're all awful people. <laughs> in your case, it's usually true because you're going to see them in a year for a service. Yeah, how happens with us? Should we yeah, see them? I can say that any point in the year. Yeah, exactly. See you next year. <laughs> it's fine. Bye. Bye. Yes, we are back once again to play our D and D campaign and uh, round it off for this year and see how it pans out. We are shy a couple of players, people at work, people visiting family. It's, it's Christmas, yeah. Year. We have Christmas obligations as adults. That we, we can't are. get a full party in July. Hang Never on. mind <laughs> mere festive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said we're adults. Yeah, legally we're said, adults. Legally, I never said we were the good ones. The religious march of time. <laughs> Oh. Passed by society, we I are. Don't, I, f- I feel like consent is needed for that sort of thing. <laughs> and I certainly never it gave it. Uh, I take pride in knowing that how, no matter how long time marches on, I'll still be the youngest in the group. <laughs> <laughs> you're 75 you're, you're and I'll cling to that. To yeah. it. When can we recruit our class? Actually, no, yeah, because if I'm 75, then you guys might not be here. I think, yeah, I think yeah, it'll yeah. be about the point where he stops considering dice as choking hazards. Yeah. He has already started rolling for Ross, so you know, there's that at least. It's a good start. What's our 5% code? <laughs> Three percent. So if you want, uh, we are good supported. Uh, <laughs> it's 5%. Uh, we are supported by Gainty, who are the wonderful purveyors of gaming adjacent gear and goods. Normally we have Candle Corner that tells us stuff, but today we're going to have Dice Dungeon, I don't know. Dice to be named. It's in coming. For Laura, Laura is presenting Connor's latest purchase yeah. from Game Team. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not crap. He has bought uh, some of their wonderful... I don't remember what the name of their, those, these dice crap. are. <laughs> no, they're not called crap. We all rolled one and it was really good. Yeah, yeah. you can roll the rest of the night. <laughs> but these we used are, up all the good ones. <laughs> these are the latest in Game Team's uh, dice collections. <laughs> <laughs> that you can purchase on their website. You can go to gamet.co.uk forward slash ecrit survival. Use the code ecrit survive to get yourself 5% off. Uh, and a little bit of that comes to us to help support the stream. But you can get some. They're called Mithril Dice. The Mithril Dice, thank you. Uh, these are called Sigil, if you're Matthew Mercer. Or Sigil. 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 Sigil stones. And these. Uh, clickety clackities. I don't know the name of these ones. <laughs> clickety clackities. <laughs> yes, you can go on to Gamet, you can have a look at their Mithril Dice sets, and you can get some of these wonderful. Uh, Colours that we are all looking at going. Oh, this is so trying to decide my favourite. I think it might, might be the Mithril. It's just. Oh, is yeah. it, it's a little bit understated, but oh, the purple I, I, and silver I, I was, works so I was well. half tempted by these ones, but then they played the Mandalorian soundtrack over the TikTok and it does look like Beskar. Oh, <laughs> I really like and that the was blue. it. <laughs> the, blue, the blue is stunning. The clickety clack. Yes, the complete. It's renamed clickety clackety roll to attack it is. Okay, there's a balance. <laughs> very well These weighted. Are nice. They That's are very so well balanced. Blue. They are they are beautiful. So if you get the chance, go and have a look. Game to the pretty cake. Forward slash equit survive. Or go to equit survive at checkout. Check out our Instagram for more details. <laughs> right now. Posting now. <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> It'll be refresh, there somewhere. Refresh, 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 refresh. And if you want to check out some of our other stuff we've been doing, like the remainder of this campaign and our board game streams that we have been doing and uploading onto YouTube, you can go onto the links that have just dropped into the chat and check out our YouTube page, Equals of Life, and you can get all that stuff there. Um, yeah. And also, a final, because this is the last session of the year, a final <coughs> shout out to everyone who helped donate for our Rachel Game campaign that we did in the last couple of months. We raised £150 for Dimension UK. So that is a fantastic uh, help from everyone who uh, gave so generously. Um, so thank you very much, everyone, for that. 
With all that said and done, I guess it's uh, time to come back into the party and see where we left off. So, Connor and Laura. <laughs> I just have one quick question to confirm yes. with my ally here. Um, what's your say session 19? Because I've got 18. It was nine. Because you missed. God damn it! Didn't you miss one? You I missed. Did. did I just follow on? I did. I followed on. <laughs> so you were. We told you. Hey, good at nation. Blunderbuss is raiding with us. Ah, again. Oh my goodness me! It's happening again. Blunderbuss is coming. Blunderbuss is coming. Blunderbuss. Buzz for our corners, Critter Nation, B2442. Hello, everyone. Mr. M says hi. You got to the best part. The beginning. Yeah, right. Yes, we are. We are just about to, so perfectly. Two hours time. We look a lot more tired. And so. <laughs> yeah, right. We are just about to kick off our D and D session. So uh, join us as we go through a recap of what happened last time. Oh. In, in session nine, so session, session, session nineteen. Session 19 but, are you going to crack ten? No. No, I'm just going to skip straight to session twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this session? Yes. So do, do you do you want to do comedy first and then realism afterwards? Or? Well, I don't mind. You could do realism. <laughs> I, either way, comedy. it ends with me giving you a recap of bits you missed. I don't know. I, I, do, I just you know reread this one. Should I do very... comedy first okay. and then you can fill in the gaps? It okay. feels very informative. <laughs> Session nineteen. It's a bit chilly. <laughs> we check out the mines. There's a fake wall. Isaria falls through it. There is a lift. It's rusted AF. We delve deeper. We found burrows. Something lives here. We find a cart. It's squeaky. We bring it along. <laughs> we go for a ride. It's so fast. <laughs> we hit a wall made of gems. We dig. We bobsleigh. <laughs> Cassian and Grit get stuck. We spider climb. Do the hog back. <laughs> Pulse feet are on fire. Oh, oh yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> we head down the other tunnels. Cassian crosses a cavern, finds golden sword, brings it back. It could be magical. We head out. We mine the Arcanium, 300 pounds of it. Golden dragon sword, natural 20, and it explodes. <laughs> that that is not wrong. Um, Connor, your version of events. Session eighteen. <laughs> Winter is coming. Go away. I awake to a hard frost on the ground. It is solid and come up. Is this just your diary? Is this, yes, <laughs> this is how I'm writing this now. Uh, no, I meant yours, not yeah. your characters. <laughs> yes, we found this was during that yeah. freeze we had. It was ago. indeed. The ground is solid and covered in almost snow. Cassian wishes to mine the Arcanium ore from the mine. Assessing the structural integrity of the mine with grit, we identify where it's safe to do so. I don't want to die in a cave then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grit points out a fake wall. I move to investigate. Ysari, a full sends it over a hidden guardrail. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know how this party has not success- suffered a loss. <laughs> <laughs> Following on from my last comment, Ysaria decides to abseil from a worn rope falling 60 odd feet, taking noticeable damage. Poor woman, should have stayed at home. <laughs> no. No. Openings of 20 feet across made by a creature. The minds are warning us, but alas, we push forward. Loudly. <laughs> Loudly. <laughs> a mind Loudly can't present itself. Push I don't see this going well. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, myself and Pal elect not to ride in the cart down the centre of the track. Why? The cart agrees and shoots <laughs> off to the right. The screams of the party will amuse me for years to come. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down after them, I've come to an, we come to an impasse. A huge chasm opens up. We elect not to cross, only to observe. <laughs> Ysaria flies past, alone, <laughs> leaving Grit and Cassian behind. I thought, <laughs> I've called out the gods today, but at least this, we know where they're alive. <laughs> Against my will, <laughs> they still press forward. Cassian solo climbs over another gap to find a shiny object, and of course, pulls the sword from a corpse's hand. The gold sword from the stone. Can't read that, I wrote really small. <laughs> ah, there we go! A gold sword from the hand of a decomposed body. Yeah. Well, it's really hitting smooth there. <laughs> I'm sure it's not cursed. I'll flip my coin. 
Oh, did you actually flip your coin? I did. Oh my goodness. Is that where we ended the session? Yeah. You're flipping your coin? So I guess. We don't know the, oh, we don't know the result. No, the result's the coin, oh. yes. <laughs> so, uh, just to give the full recap. Connor, recording. have you rolled a new character? <laughs> I mean, it might be the whole party, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I've only just started to, like... I've, I've finally got two attacks! Tip. <laughs> I'll get the character sheet out and there's half the fight. Oh, the, the cry of the martial class at level five. Mm. <laughs> finally! <laughs> so, when the party had left office, they had been exploring the mines in the Great Eastern Canyon. Uh, they had found one of these mines which had a bunch of tar monsters in them, defeated those and cleared it out. And upon exploring before returning home, uh, they found that the mine actually was a lot larger than they had originally discovered it. They went through, they had some mishaps with rope and gravity. Gravity um, is, is our... And momentum. And momentum. Dawn's fine. Gravity. Really gravity struggling gravity with gravity problem, this yeah. Campaign. Uh, but you explored through the mines, you found a few various gemstones that you have harvested, um, sort of green gemstones you've come across, um, and uh, the golden sword that you pulled from, which is sort of the dragon, the old dragon sword. Um, then, as you came to do your long rest before heading off for the night, or head before uh, resting for that night, you chose to flip a coin, Elijah, <laughs> and said the words. <laughs> Amora Fatty. Uh, these coins, by the way, available at Game Tea. Um, We're going to let him actually flip the coin. Oh, oh yeah, if you can kill me, I'm going to be the one who does it. <laughs> I take the fate in my own hands. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet lord. Nailed it. Is it heads? <laughs> yeah. Wait, which heads? The good, the good head or the. Okay, so you have three The now. lady head, not yeah. the skull. Okay. Not the. No, no, no. It wasn't a demon head with. <sighs> Oh, the skull, the skull head. Okay, you've got the... Well, so you should know As the coin lands and you look upon it, you think for a moment, you have that wash of impending doom, which, in fact, everyone apart from Isara and Grit has. Oh, yeah. Um, should I flip the coin at disadvantage? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would you like to Because I want the other side! No. Really? Yeah. Why? It's funny. fun. <laughs> It's really useful to do it because it's funny. You've <laughs> it three times and three times I've got the good one. Yeah, it's oh. fun. So you um, feel that surge of energy within yourself that just sort of feels you tethered a little bit more to this life. So you mark yourself down with a third point. <laughs> just more and more, more and more alive. But as you, as you do flip this coin, I believe it's just you on watch at the moment. Yeah. Possibly you and your brother, I'm not certain. We'll say he's asleep, because he's asleep. He you, fell asleep against death. As you flip the coin, and it lands with the head side up, you also feel deep within yourself, although you've been awake and alive, you have been eating food. The hunger is still there. Mm. And that hunger is building for you. It's been a while. And as that coin flips through the air and lands, you look at it almost disappointedly because you know that there's an extension and the the continuation of this hunger is not necessarily something that you would want to mm. keep striving on. As you sort of look into the fire, um, the flames sort of dancing over the skull side of the coin you hear a voice just a whisper you defied her again interesting interesting I try and ignore it <laughs> <laughs> With all problems, Was that the wind? <laughs> <laughs> they go away. Someone just talking in their sleep. Oh, come now. Ooh. Is that any way to treat an old friend? Am I able to see anyone? Make a perception check. Really they really not. Remember, you're at disadvantage. Ooh. Oh. Because you are at all. Break them in. Oh. oh. I don't think I've built this character very present. No, I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Oh boy. 
Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Look around. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <Blimey. laughs> oh. You rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have that sort of high hope for that. <laughs> I, was like, I, think, I thought it was a plus one. I was like, oh, no, that's plus seven. <laughs> you look around and you can't see any voices coming from any of your companions that are lying here sleeping. But as you sort of look at the coin in your hands or roll it along your fingers, a glint just catches you in the skull and the helmet face. is normally in profile. It is looking right at you. What's this for? <laughs> I just... Sorry? See if I didn't shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely jumped. <laughs> well, you don't eat, do you? Not far. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's not, yeah, no, no, to be fair, you would eat for pleasure. Yeah, I'm just trying sustenance. to work it out there. Yeah, yeah not, not to I mean, live. Not for sustenance, it's just for pleasure. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> Shortbread. Oh, yeah, <laughs> shoes. Didn't, yeah, didn't you eat a load of stuff? Just, yeah, you did. Cheese. Yeah. Yeah, and, so yes, and you wine. would. I know what it, yeah. Yeah, so you... you I, I used to enjoy the finer things in life. <laughs> it reminded me of home. <laughs> so you didn't quite yeah, shit yourself. Yeah, you offered just... me no sustenance. So we're going, hmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> so no shitting self, just squeaked one time. Just <laughs> that. Probably dropped it. Yeah, yeah so the point. It's on the... <laughs> then you just hear, woofed. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. No. <laughs> 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 Um, am I hallucinating? You're not sure. Yeah, that's kind of the line I'm, I'm going down on this bit. Um, Are you hearing voices? Yeah, I kind of like oh, rub the face of the coin a little bit. Okay, you rub the face of it. It's a little bit shinier. Ooh. Just take off some of the surface layer dirt from dropping it on the ground. Who the hell are you? I am someone who has watched with great interest as you traversed the Shadowfell and came into this place, this dimension. Then you're not supposed to exist. Arguably neither are you. Neither should you. Good point well made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Elijah. <laughs> Why oh, you want my brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get him. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> Tell me, Elijah. Why do you attempt to stick the fingers up of the gods? Because, quite simply, they've proven that. They have no real power. I think that most of them are pretenders. Anyone can be a god if people are stupid enough to follow them. The, although there are no lips on the sort of the skull face, you see the jaw just ever so slightly creak upwards into any sort of really sinister smile. Hmm. You possess a wisdom, but not many holes. Sorry about that. Just checking! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would say that I am of a group that agrees with that sentiment. But the gods are pretenders, are oh, those who have managed to fool the mortals. In such a way to get their worship and their power from those beliefs that anyone can have that power. Anyone can freely give that power if they just believe hard enough in a person. I wholeheartedly agree. Cool. Coin will do. Coin will do. I hear you have, for lack of a better word, daddy issues. I knew it! I knew it was coming! I believe I'm like, <laughs> 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 I'm like, 
Yeah, no, well, 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 Would you like some assistance with getting rid of your father? Should he come your way? Well, I did hope that he was already dead, but after a certain dream, and now I'm talking to an inanimate object, I'm starting to believe that, well, these things are possible. Uh, I should be sure. Can't do any harm. You're a talking coin. (laughs) I'm not really, well, never guess this, I'm not really a talking coin. What are you talking about? I'm just the manifestation that your psyche can behold me. I have sensed great potential from you. Why do you think I have let you gain success after success? So I was very lucky. I would say we are both very lucky. You have plans for that tale, don't you? I do. The bearer of the scorpion tail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Grace. Oh, shit, I never wrote tail. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, no, I thought it would be a, a fun centerpiece. Forge it into a weapon, and I will help you when you get a chance. Well, I think we're going up to the forge. Oh, uh, don't think it'd be too difficult for the dwarf. Hmm. Once there, you can help me with my goals afterwards, and I can help with yours. I will assist you with the forging. And our pact shall be made. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I'll give it a cursory glance. Once all things are in order, then, uh, sure. I see no reason why we can't be friends. Smiles at you again. Oh, I like friends. And you just see the, the glint from the fire is now catching right in the eye sockets. And you just see the flames just flickering within the eye sockets of this corn look at you. Everyone else says, yes, I noticed the uh, overbearing foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> I choose to ignore that feeling anyway. I am playing as my character. <laughs> I see no reason not to agree with this. The flaming skull coin. What have you got to lose, really? <laughs> For now, though, I can give you a small gift. Ooh. If you would go up outside this cave, maybe a hundred feet up. There'll be something there for you to sate yourself. Ooh, fantastic. Good luck, Elijah. Is it a coin? Am I kind of <laughs> it and top pocket it? <laughs> like, as the coin flips, you just see it. <laughs> and it just turns back into profile. I leave my brother sleeping on the watch, mm-hmm. and I have something to go and inspect about a hundred feet up. Yeah, you go out and you scuffle up the yes. outside of it. Uh, make a stealth check for me. Oh dear. This is, again, disadvantage. Oh dear. <laughs> was it you that brought the tail to make a weapon out of? Yeah, yeah he's been lugging that around. He's been carrying it about. I wasn't like sure if someone gave it as it was someone else. It was the scorpion tail. Yeah. You yeah, should be lugging that for ages. Yeah. Because you left it at the forge. Oh, okay. Half proficiency. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine? <laughs> so, mm. okay, not so I'm bad. not a stealthy person. No, you make your way up. And the hunger that is within you is... is you know, right. without disadvantage? Hmm? Oh, it was a natural 20. No. You uh, make your way Six up and... Minutes. You get to the You get to this ledge that uh, is protruding out and you see that curled up there is a goat. Oh, thank God, I thought you were going to say a small child. <laughs> yeah, when well, you said curled up... I was... still would have met it. I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I imagine like a small cat. 
goat's um, too bad, but oh, yeah. is it the little goat oh, that does like he, goat yoga? He got, <laughs> good. It's not taking goat. Considering he, he got beaten up when he tried to eat a sheep, I'm betting on the goat. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I attempt to uh, eat the goat. Make it a snack roll. <laughs> no, it's with advantage. The attack rolls of the um, actually no, it would be a straight roll. A disadvantage on attacks and ability checks. But it's not saving though, so this will be a straight roll because it's unconscious. Oh boy! Eleven. The, unsurprisingly, the armor class of a sleeping goat is not that high. Thank God for that. Roll damage. This is an auto crit. Oh, the fourth goat. 14. 14? Okay, you lean in and let the fangs come out as you bite down. The goat makes no noise. You have immediately, you hunter that you are, you have severed its spinal column and it does not go. Victory! <laughs> you get one experience point. Uh, yes! 4,000 more to go. <laughs> to level? But you are oh, God. able to consume as needed and you feel. Oh, thank God. The hunger fade. Level five. Oh, I didn't rub it out. <laughs> you should have five hit dice as well. Actually, I don't. I've got four d twelve. You should have five. Five d twelve. I thought I was. Oh wow! Well, today's just getting better for you, isn't it? I thought I did everything. No, I, I boosted up my all my proficiencies and everything. You did all that stuff. I, think you just I didn't just do didn't do the basics. No, it's my, all bit. my proficiencies and hit dice went up by like five. And yeah, just in case, because <laughs> I feel like the way this part is going. Yeah, oh fair. boy. Don't worry, I'm sure there'll be a railing you, sorry, I can throw myself off of the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I want to get to the bottom! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get the bottom of the canyon. Gravity is not an issue. <laughs> There's a lake. Gravity um, doesn't matter if you when, believe in that. When you have two people that can literally defy gravity, everyone else's job is to prove that it is still real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To and, keep you level-headed. And we do. Yes, we do. Successfully oh, proven gravity. We, we have to t- deal with the extra gravity you ignore. Yes, I do like to abseil and I do like to go on roller coasters. So that is That's really a six. defying gravity. Um, Alright, so with your hunger sated, there is now a Goat carcass, if you so wish to butcher a goat and have it as the breakfast. Yeah, over the fire that's in the thing at the bottom. Fire bottom. Given it's been exsanguinated, does that mean it's also kosher? Yes. <laughs> Say a little prayer. What? You bring the goat down and uh, it's you are able to prepare it and do all the benefits of the piece you need to butcher a goat. Heal it with a tent peg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a top gear reference. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad no. people got that. No. That is an old top gear reference. Yeah. Wow, you're showing your age there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> top gear with Clarks. <laughs> so. Bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah. What? what? Combat! <laughs> that's 1903. I mean, we've technically had that combat. Oh, yeah. Oh God, frighten me! He did sound like God. If you hadn't killed the goat, we would have had the combat. <laughs> then, so, then, like Dom, my money would have been on the goat. Gored <laughs> off a cliff, impaled on a rock. Oh, I, like that. I think you were there for that one. So in the session, you were fight one of those sort of mini sessions. You had to level people up, and Dan was tell you playing as a. Um, is teleporting psionic character. Oh, yeah. He teleports so to the okay. wrong side. So- yeah, teleports to the wrong side of a giant dragon. He just went well, poof, just backhanded it off a cliff. Anyway, uh, backtailed like, it. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> just like well, this one. After I'd gone to all the trouble of basically seducing it, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't actually seduced it, but I sort of charmed it. Oh, that's what it was. Anyway, uh, so that goat has been um, utilized. And it is there for breakfast in the morning. Is to the other side? Is there anything else you would like to do on your watch? Elijah? No. Okay. Your watch comes to an end. Anyone who's taking the next watch? Because I believe you went first. Oh, did you go first? I thought this was morning. This could be dawn. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's sure, I was last. last. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, Rick's yeah. done a schedule. We'll it? say it's last, so we'll say it was the last watch. Um, but as you all come to... Yeah. Consciousness, you have had your long rest. Yeah, because I had looked at the sword in my watch. Yes, you did. Mm. 
Long rest. Yay! I gained back my three hit points. Yeah. <laughs> I gained back one spell slot. Yay. Uh, I don't Great think you changes. used any. You didn't we didn't fight. Yesterday. No. But the first oh. session, like, I fought many times. inanimate objects with my face. <laughs> <laughs> they won. They won. Build the XP. Build the That's. XP. So, with that, what would you like to do? Is morning is yours. It is another cold day. It is snowing a little heavier than it was yesterday. There's a very light dusting uh, along the patches of ground that are dry enough for snow to settle. So we're, we're in the cave that we were just, we were, we were hunting through, or we've moved on since then. No, you were still in the mouth in that cave. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so we're going to move on Ooh, now. Fionn does a snowy effect. Huh? Fionn has a snowy effect. Does <laughs> it? Yeah. Oh, and that's And it has cool. snowflakes. Oh, that's cool. You're a player apple. The dancing wizard is still my favourite thing. I still have that. Yes. Um, just listen. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> check D and D and D and D beyond that, guys. D and 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 D. The dancing wizards and snow. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? You have a freshly butchered goat, or freshly oh, exsanguinated goat. Did, did you find this for us? That's nice of you. Yeah, you know, we haven't eaten properly in a little while, so I thought I would treat us all. I uh, killed it myself. Is it kosher? <laughs> inside check. It is now. Like inside check. <laughs> oh, inside check. <coughs> do, do I believe he killed it himself? Uh, Twelve. Twelve? Looks like Elijah killed this goat. <laughs> Two puncture marks and yeah. everything. Uh, yeah, so I thought, you know, it was, uh, it's a long walk back to uh, Fosfing. So. And that's, yeah, we're going to Fosfing now. Yes, yeah. Find the old man's shack. We said we'd stop it on the way past. I know, oh, yeah. I know you said you didn't want to visit, but I'm going to go in and talk to him. Stand outside, just like, and I'm, just, I've got my new sword, and I'm just like. Is it bad that I around. really don't want to see him again? No, I think I've had a, a good visit. I've had really bad feeling ever since we saw him last. I don't want that to happen again. I've been insulted. Mm-hmm. Yes. After he read, he gave you a prophecy. Yeah, I do not want to go back to there. I've felt uneasy ever since. I have a point to prove that uh, he was wrong. So we can wait outside, maybe. Oh, yeah. 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 Just like a wet Stop off for a bit. Yeah, that's on the way back to Fosfinger, So we'll stop off for a visit. Mm. Carry on, get back and get forging. See what we can make. Forging? Do we have. Oh, well, it wasn't one of the things that we weren't going to have enough supplies for forging, as in to stay there. Because mm-hmm. it Maybe. was. Maybe. Retrieve some things from winter. here. And... <laughs> Maybe you can find more goats. True. Yes. We could collect as we go. We know there are animals around here, so we'll just make it more of a mission to collect. Things. Yeah, but we'll see what things look like when we get back there. We can decide what to do then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, for now, shall we cook this goat? Yeah. Okay. Like Have first. you butchered it like properly or just just scared? Yeah. Oh, I've butchered it. You've done it everything. <laughs> Let's get a fire. Is the fire's already going? Fire's still burning. You've kept it Have burning. Have you cooked it yet? Yeah. I've cooked my bit. Okay, I'll cook. <laughs> I'll cook the rest. Oh you no, cook, wait. I mean, you, you cooked it blue. To be fair, you cooked it just oh, with. You introduced you. it to the. You got the kitchen. You got the cook. Chef feet. The chef feet. Okay. <laughs> Someone um, else can cook them. <laughs> it was delicious. I'll cook it. Okay, you cook it. Okay, okay, you, cook it. No, you can help me cook it. I don't it. just want you to just. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, uh, cook please. Me about 150 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Once, maybe. How hard can it be? Sure, let's go. Okay, let's. I'll chef it up. All mm-hmm. right. What are you cooking Sprig of rosemary. with it? Because I know you wanted to do some fun things with this. Uh, Ooh. What is around? So <laughs> you've got whatever you've got in your supply, basically. You've got some. Oh, fantastic. Because you've got some dirt. I, I will. Uh, <laughs> some Ooh, ice this water. This tastes like dirt. <laughs> some icy water. I will make a goat like broth mm-hmm. with some of the red wine from my mm-hmm. 13 bottles Ooh. out of there and uh, garnish it with a bit of the uh, cheese. Ooh. Okay. 
cheese and goats do. I will say, roll a... This will be survival, I would say. That is what it gives me proficiency in. Um, this will be a straight roll because you are being helped by Cassian, so... <laughs> yeah, it's blue oh, as shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, Wait, no, was that... Is that with advantage? I'm being, I'm no, no it's roll. also with uh, disadvantage. So like eight. eight. Okay. The the wine, cheese, goat stew... Uh, is, I think the cheese was off. ...comes to the boil. It is... You, the part of the problem is, as you sort of all come down to meet it, it looks nice enough. It's a nice sort of brown broth, the sort of richness of the wine that's put in there, the cheese melted into it because it has a nice, rich, sumptuous smell. And as you bite into it, the meat is tough and oh, stringy. No. You've taken it. You've not taken it from any of the. <laughs> not taken from any of the good parts of the goat, where it'd be like like a rump or a, the, the the flank or anything like Testicles that. Testicles are. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> yes. all you, took the, you took the brains yes. and the tongue. It's just make use of all of it. Just whipping it. If you oh. beat it enough, it separates. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is make a <laughs> not a good meal. I've created spam. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all the shit you wouldn't normally eat in one big liquidy broth. <laughs> Cheers! Gucci Twizzler stew. It is terrible. Oh, and we used all the goat? No. Oh, good. Just a very small amount of okay, just uh, all old goat. Stuff, okay. All the terrible bits of the goat. There's one. As you sort of you take your bowl, you're just about to take a spoonful of it, just out of the bottom, just the trotter just floats up. <gasps> you got a hoof, that's the best bit! <laughs> I'm going Big to old juicy to be <laughs> incredibly polite and uh, give every sign of enjoyment. Make a deception check. <laughs> Disadvantage. Yes, I'm going to oh, attempt. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that one. I'm going to attempt to pretend it's not terrible as well. <laughs> um, 19. 19? Also 19. Oh. <laughs> Don? Right? You probably see through my 12 then. I think mm. you're close to testing the DC, you just see the deception. Yeah. It's oh, just a sorry. twitch in there. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a hard swallow. Yeah. Yeah. It's very warming on the cold morning. Oh. Yes. It is, <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. That is the best thing that can be said about it. It is indeed hot food. <laughs> Um, well, hot. You all get yes. three <laughs> temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> you do all get three temporary hit points. If hey, my that takes me bonus. above 40. Yeah, my proficiency as good as this for you is that your feet are no longer on fire. <gasps> Yay! That went away at the end of the long rest. Excellent. Not a bad goat suit. I was, I was sleeping with my feet outside. Well, it was only your footprints that left it, so oh, as long right. as you weren't sleepwalking, you were fine. <laughs> Otherwise, um, would have set fire to your bed. <laughs> presumably, there's no evidence that I was sleepwalking. <laughs> there is not. No, there's no. There's Everything no. is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you just blame that on Elijah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. So um, terrible stew okay. consumed. In which case, is there anything you wish to discuss over breakfast? Or oh, I was going to just cook the rest of the goat just so it keeps for a bit longer. Sure. Make a survival um, check. Oh. Disadvantage. Mm. Can other people help? You can help. You can give guidance. You can give. I, I uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's already rolled. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't listen. Oh, my okay. apologies. Oh well. Um, <laughs> it was a twelve. Twelve. Okay. You are able to cook the remainder of the goat. There's a little bit of wastage, but you're able to cook the rem- a good chunk of goat. There's enough goat to survive you for at least getting back to Foster and get maybe another day. In this week or so that you have to travel. Sorry, I'll listen better next time. Not bad. Yeah, you ruined! <laughs> doesn't bother me. <laughs> Does not bother you? Does you just minus. cooked all of my meat. <laughs> yes, but. I did it's it okay. so there's, it. There's one testicle I thought. Oh, thank God. A bit. Yeah, you can have Klaus a bit. Right, you can have a bit that I didn't. You, if I cooked most of it, but there's still some left because I was thinking of you. <laughs> some awful. Yes. Yeah, there's a little bit of awful. <laughs> you testing. used it so it's well in your stew. All, all the muscle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. you used it so well in your stew, I thought you would really enjoy well, I think it. I've eaten most of the bits that I use, so we'll yeah, have it again yeah, for breakfast that, tomorrow. That <laughs> sounds like a great idea. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but three temporary hit points. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. If you live by three. 
going to be chugging that shit in the like, no, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, in the middle of a fight. <laughs> How long did the temporary hit points last? Who needs health for a day? <laughs> day. They last until you have a long rest, I believe. Wow. Or until they're used. Until they're used. And then they don't stack. Would you replace each other? Never rest. So. Mm. With that done, uh, are you making your way north and following the river? Are you going to try and climb out of the gorge? Are you going to have to no. You? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like you know we what? should I wait mean, until you fell it. Twenty feet. You fell sixty feet. That's some rocky numbers. You need to bump those numbers up <laughs> a million feet. <laughs> How high is this gone? <laughs> At this point, you have, it's a thousand feet. Ooh, a thousand. That's not a round way. number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can see now on the bottom of the gorge. Alrighty. It's not as difficult for you travelling back as it is uh, travelling there, because you know the route, more or less, um, even with the snow. It's not, you know, down here it's cold, but it's moist enough that it doesn't really settle on the rocks, so you're able to sort of traverse a little bit. After about half a day or so, or actually no, it would take about a day to get there, you do come across <coughs> that hut that Nullif was living in, sat by the weir and the collapsed cranes that you came across last time. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I'm just going to go and knock on the door. But... I'm going to keep... <laughs> <I'm not knocking. laughs> keep my distance. I guess mm-hmm. along with Pal as well, so we'll stay. Okay. Grit, will, Grit will stay outside and as well Cassian with Desh and if uh, I, Smokey. If I go through the door pretty yeah. quickly... I meant, to, I meant Klaus, yeah. Yes. If I go through the door pretty quickly, mm. do I startle him? Make an intimidation check. No, because technically he should know I'm coming. If he's good at prophecies. If he's good at prophecies. <laughs> if he's, if he's, if wow, he's forging, yeah. Test. <laughs> it's the only way you will know. <laughs> you sling the door open and just... just <laughs> aha! Now if they sort of still sat in their high back chair with that copper coloured mask across their face and just looks up. Hello. Again. <laughs> I suppose you knew I was coming. Hello, we're back. I didn't know you were coming yet. I did hear you walking along. That's a fair statement. Mm. What have you to tell me of your journey thus far? Yeah, well, we found the mines and we did find the flamey things. Thanks for the stuff off on those. They were a bit meaner than I expected, but we managed. Mm. And then there was a big blobby tar fire monster as well, wasn't there? Blobby tar. And... Lots of weird magic effects. Do you know what's up with that? I've noticed that since we've been around this canyon. That is something that has existed here for at least the war. At least since the war, sorry. I don't know what it is. I don't get to leave here. Okay. We did some weird stuff, but nothing too bad for us, did it? Only minor magical effects. I mean, a great point to disagree. The time you're not there. Made, made us big and hit it harder. Only a tiny little plant. Only minor magical. It was very minor. Yeah. It wasn't permanent. <laughs> no, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. It was minor. Um, yeah, so, so we sorted out the monsters we found there. Um, and then we found that part of the mine had been hidden by an illusionary wall. It went much deeper than it looks to start with. Did you find that out? No, <clears throat> he can't leave here. Interesting, though. Yeah, so there's all sorts of mine carts down there. Didn't look like they got very far in the mining operations. We found some ore deposits and some gems pretty easily. And sword. Oh, yeah, found, found the remnants of. Well, it was Cassian that found the remnants of. I guess someone that had been down there. Probably before the wars, because she said she said that he said they were very decomposed, almost dusty. Um, but yeah, they they still had a golden sword, which must at least have some kind of magical preservation effect on it. Mm. If nothing else, I haven't been able to figure out much apart from that. Does he give any sort of interest towards a magical golden sword? Make an inside check. <laughs> oh, what am I crap? Ten. Ten? Uh, hard to read behind this mask. Yeah, it would have been a 27. 
<laughs> Could have been. Yeah, which one would have gone first? Mm. Yeah, we sort of explored, found. We, we didn't want to go too deep, so we sort of stuck to the, the bits where it seemed they'd kind of explored and found stuff worth mining. So there's more tunnels down there that we didn't explore. Oh, and weird bow, bow looking things that seemed like they were made, made by living creatures that intersected with the mine tunnels. Mm. So something does live there. Or did. We didn't see anything apart from the fiery monsters. The fiery monsters. Mm. <coughs> that is good to know. Yeah, we dealt with the fiery monsters, so don't have to worry about them coming up here. I would hope not. How has that coin been treating you? Oh, too well. Too well. that you uh, read for us was um, disappointing. I have a feeling I'm going to live a long life. I never specified whom would die. Just that death would be near. Oh, you killed that guy. Maybe that's what they were on about. Then death has come. Prophecies are interesting that way. We never know their meaning until they have happened. That sounds a bit tricky to work out then. Then the giver of the prophecy would know if the prophecy has been fulfilled. Perhaps. Any more wise words for probably the last people you'll see in a long time? I get the feeling I'll be seeing people again soon. Hmm. Yeah, well, I was going to ask about that. You know, you've actually encountered the gods, and there are a bunch of clerics back at Seven Homes. I'm sure some of them would be interested in coming to talk to you. Is that okay? Oh, yes, I would look forward to such uh, interaction and discussion of theology. Does he like that a bit too much? Make an inside check. <laughs> God, I'm battering the insides of it. Enjoying this. Oh, thank God. If you make enough checks, one of them will succeed. Did he say that with the same sort of tone I would if they said there were small, weak, defenseless people in a large gathering which like to greet them? No, this uh, one, it, uh, here. The mask again sort of obscures a lot of the facial cues that you would be reading from the body language. Body language hasn't really changed. Um, you get a strong sense that there is an interest in having a debate in theology, but beyond that, you can't really tell. Yeah. They're people. They're decent. Also, people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the others were a bit creeped up by your prophecy thing last time. So they wanted to wait outside. So. Um, is there anything else we can do for you while we're here? Or just send you more visitors when we can? Visitors are always welcome. Oh, that's very nice. And I would say to you to beware. Beware of those which might come before you and claim themselves to be friends. I need you to make an intelligence saving throw, please. Oh, jeebus. Intelligence? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you failed two intelligence saving throws already. This, this, this is dexterity. <laughs> that's a, that's a no, yes. I've failed an intelligence yeah. saving throw. Okay. Upon hearing that, your that word... That kind of shakes you to your core. You're a trusting person by nature. Yeah. Um, you are disconcerted by this. If people that would call themselves friends, I need to be aware of those people. I want to take my armor off. 
I don't want to. I want to protect people, but how do I know who to protect if they're not going to stab me in the back? You now also have the belief that you will soon die. Oh dear. So you now have disadvantage on your ability checks in the back rolls. Oh, we're never going to get rid of this until at least level 12. <laughs> <laughs> so ability checks and attack rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, all the good shit. <laughs> Thank God all the stuff the that stops you from dying. Yeah, well, not saving throws. Not saving throws. Fortunately. Uh, but, um, oh, is it like one level of exhaustion? Uh, Kind of, yeah. It's second level of exhaustion, isn't it? No, first level does give you this. Exhaustion. Second level is the movement oh. speed being as halved. I, as, oh. as I'm newly suspicious, mm. I'm going to tap into my divine sense and see if this guy is a... Celestial fiend or undead. Okay. You unleash that sort of pulse and you do get the sense. You. Uh, actually, let me just double check the ability. Oh, yeah, I don't know about you. MP Balls, thank you for the raid. No, raid, raid, the right raid, raid, raid. Hey, buddy. Oh, we love a raid. This yeah. is too, this is four raids in one re- week, guys. This is nuts. We've done. Next week's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> or, or, or raid the insect killer. <laughs> raid. Welcome, welcome to board game set. Raid. And we got Wind the Webmaster. Hello, friends. Hi, welcome. guys. Welcome. Let's be here. We won't be interrupting just... as much as we normally do because D and D and RPG, so we sort. We're that, just but... figuring out if something is celestial or undead. Yes, I'm firing off my default. Oh, there are letters things. all over the screen. Yeah. Oh, cool. There we go. Yeah, that's our that's the remote that you sort of float around. Uh, oh. That's good. Mind sense. It works. Oh, oh my it. god, it's new. It's it's it. It. So, <laughs> you <laughs> get the distinct sense that this person is undead. You also pick up four other undeads around this room. <gasps> oh. well, what the presumably being this guy? <gasps> um, sorry, five. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I discounted him just on the basis that, you know, they are that is a, that's a, sen- a presence that you are used to. And that one as relatively is still that's a very minor one in comparison to um, the you get a small blip and four Alarming Big notifications. notifications. Oh, five. Five alarming notifications. Uh, one and then four that are dotted around the room. Uh, so it's almost carbon. Klaus points. is outside with us, so it can not I, near. Can I see anything that these might be? Make perception check. No, at disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> can <laughs> I see her start to somewhat panic? Uh yeah, you would suddenly see the the sort of the, almost the pulse of divine energy that you're used to, and then just suddenly She's having a minor panic attack. First yeah. she thinks she's going to die, and now she's just seen things which are going to kill her. Don't worry, we'll mm. soothe your nerves. Seven. Seven? <laughs> no, you don't see anything here. What is this hut? Oh, no, I'm not there. What is this hut made of? Wood. It's carved out of the stone. Oh, it's in the... Yeah, it's carved out of the rock. Right. I place my hand upon your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. I mean, to be fair, you're wearing the same one. So. Anyway, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very in character. Don't take his words too to heart. Good prophecies rhyme. His ones don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was a prophecy, but do you have any? Other visitors around here. I'm getting the feeling they might we might not be the only ones around. The figure sits upright and Apologies. not that I was aware of. Ooh. Hang on, do do I actually know where they are from that? You do, I believe. As long as they're not behind total cover. Yes, I know them as long as they're Which is why you don't pick up Klaus, because that he, although he's within 60 feet of you, he's on the other side of the wall. Oh, yes. Hey, Panda Angel, happy holidays to you. Hi! Hello, friend. Panda Dice. Panda time! Oh, yeah. Quick show, Panda. Panda. 
I know, I know what Laura has more than what she does. Thank <laughs> you, guys. No, you can get past the DD. <laughs> yes, you do know where they are. They're basically um, there's two either side of his chair, just sort of on the on the edge on the wall, sort of the cardboard point, points, and then there's two sort of the points opposite them. Invisible. <clears throat> well, let's see if we can find them then. Shield on. Okay. We- we're for that, but I'm going to on. go to one of the ones on the, at the side. See I if I can see. I believe them. that to be a very unwise decision. Uh, How long does the? Is it just the you get a blip of radar and then that's it? Uh, like I should know because I've been a paladin and, so until long. yeah six like, seconds. 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 End of my next turn. Okay, so you have the sense that you don't see them moving. Um, you don't even think. kind of remember where they were. You come up to one and or one of the areas that you know it to be in. You can't see anything. There's something here, but I can't see it. <laughs> I'm just outside flailing my sword about showing palette. Uh, I've got I'm a... keeping out of the way of the point here. Yes. yes. I've got a few. Did you... Sorry, just to interrupt on that point, did you attune to the sword of the knight? Yeah, I'm sure I could. Oh, no, uh, no, because is my, is my hacks a. Not attunement. Oh, then, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Can you attune to up to three items? Just left way Yeah. I need to do that in my. I, I don't have Beyond on my phone. Okay, I'm, I'm going to. Ping off a new divine sense and then just go for whatever the nearest oh, thing I sense. Boy. Okay. <laughs> there is one that is effectively there, sort of about eye level. Ah! <laughs> Make a attack roll disadvantage. Oh no. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, no, that's two eleven, so that's oh. a seventeen. Seventeen hits roll damage. Oh boy. D8 plus 4. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to smite it. That's okay. <laughs> totally reasonable. Totally. Yeah. I don't really need this in a second. If you smite it, is that something we might <laughs> notice <laughs> from outside? Uh... You probably hear what the your smite go off. Passive perception. Passive perceptions from you. Minus two. twelve. Nine. So well, currently, currently minus because you're at disadvantage, yours is actually seven, seven and, and yours four. is. Four. <laughs> That's nice. Mm. I'm flailing the sword about. Fourteen damage. Fourteen points of damage. Does As you push, burst with the. Uh, the blade, uh, the radio does not make a difference though. As you hit with the blade, there is a burst of energy that hits, and then there is this creature suddenly materializes in front of you. It looks like a small pixie like thing, or you know, the sort of the small sprites that you see in like Harry Potter that's what? got the small little tiny wings, maybe about yay high, and it's sharp fangs sticking out. But instead of it being full flesh it is decayed there are patches of its skin that have sloughed away there are gaps in the mouth and one of the eyes has fallen out so it's so it is hideous in it it is going to make an attack against you because it was preparing to do so at the same time so natural one miss it so i needed one to uh, roll initiative gong yeah is that a disadvantage that is a disadvantage <laughs> It doesn't really matter, we're always slow anyway. Oh, that's position. <laughs> oh, it's a crit and a two. Nice. So, could you move your uh, thing there just so I can see where things are? So, for the purposes of this, so you are here, number one. Um, is this the, the first map, map of the campaign? campaign. Second. 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 You're looking a bit over here. I'm flailing the, the sword like over here. Oh, oh, oh. There. There I don't 
Uh, it's only if you roll up. It doesn't have any pluses or bonuses. It's just a normal one sword. So same attack, but minus one to what you've got for that. Um, and then it will be a D8 if you do it two-handed, or a D6. No, D8 if you do it one-handed, D10 if you do it two-handed. Yes. And I. You'll use two. What was it? My crit. Uh, it deals five points five damage to any creature you choose within five feet. Well, I'm wielding it, so guess what? Yes. Uh, that. Okay. So, uh, 25. Oh, uh, what have you got? Grit. And Klaus. <laughs> well, say for the purposes of this, they are out of it. They, they can be involved potentially. We'll just see how it goes. Things go badly, they can go Yeah, down. things really, really suck. If you're okay to carry them as well as your own. Uh, sure. Um, all right. Twenty five to twenty. Twenty fifteen. Yep. I'll let you roll for the grit and Elijah. Oh, sorry. That's your brother. They both got the. No, grit doesn't. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen for your brother. Yeah. Nineteen. Well, grit got eight. Um, plus whatever his thing is. I'm going to turn. I only open up tabs so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> More tabs. I drop the volume on that just a smidge. Bam. 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 <laughs> Nine for grit. Okay, um, that's 15 to 10, so 10 to 5. Oh no, that, no, 15, 15 to 10. 15 14. 14 for you. 13 for you. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hide behind the board? <laughs> Hide my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. No, there wasn't anything. Uh, ten to five. <laughs> did, did, did you say fiance or Beyonce? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you it was You said ten to five? Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, did you roll for Smokey, by the way? No! Oh, come on, I've just rolled three! Sorry. Sorry! Does, he doesn't have a disadvantage, does No, Smokey's smoke the MVP. Shit! That's a 17 on the dice. Yeah, um, it's 16. 16. Smokey, okay. There's minus one. Alright, Smokey in. Um, Alright, you two. Four. Three. Nice. Excellent. Well, alright then. Uh, I guess top of the round um, is uh, them. So... Um, Nulleth stands up, having seen this creature burst, and you, with your act of violence, <laughs> reaches, act of violence. <laughs> reaches across and grabs their staff, which has sort of got a long spike on the end of it, and... <sighs> violence in here again. Yes. No. And is going to cast... Uh, let's see here. Okay, that one. So it's going to use uh, two necrotic rays. It's going to make an attack against both of you, one each. So attack against you, first of all, is a 22 to hit. Yes. 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 Yeah. Like, 13, 14. Uh, so you take nine points of necrotic damage. Yeah, it's not that bad. And then against you, oh, it uh, is a much higher, it's 26 to hit. Yeah. Uh, for only four points in the rotting damage. That barely takes off the goat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> barely. Uh, well, oh yeah, do that. He's now Klaus's turn. I would say Klaus, <laughs> his passive perception at the moment is six. He yeah. hasn't, hasn't heard this happen as of yet. So for purposes for this, the first round, everyone is out on this. Uh, something before his initiative you guys shouts out for... Yet. A help. Help. Uh, so I mean, they may well have heard his eye of screaming of shock as this thing appeared in front of her face. <laughs> Not with the passive perception that one. <laughs> That's fair. Um, right, so it's then the cadaver sprite. He's playing. Alright, so the one that is in front of you is going to attempt to bite you again. Bite you, a bite face. Natural 20. Shh. 
So, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. At least I don't have disadvantage on this. No. Not that it matters when you roll a four. Oh, so that's four? six in total. Okay, good to know. Um, so you take uh, plus four, 11 points of piercing damage and Ow. 11 points of necrotic damage. Ow. And at the start of your next turn, you will take another d4 of necrotic damage. Okay. So, I'm going to say okay. It's not really, but... All right, uh, that's that one. The other four, the other three, are going to take short bow shots. Uh, two at you, Elijah, one at you. I will say the one against you doesn't have advantage for being invisible because you know where it is because of the, um, yeah, the black Um uh, But that is a st- unnatural 20 to hit. Yeah, that, yeah. Do, that does just make it past the shield. Okay, so you take uh, six points of piercing damage. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Three. Three. You are poisoned for a minute. Oh, good. eh? And as the arrow thunks into your back, you feel the poison seep into your body. You just have enough time to go, ah, for death, before you fall unconscious and just crumple to the ground. What? Okay. Uh, two attacks against you. But you've still got loads of hit points. Yeah. Had. But not loads, but some. So 17 not... on the first. Shield. Okay. So, is this one the spell that you've already taken, or is this as part of the other one? Other. Okay, understood. So as you, you instinctively, you see the arrow coming up, and you instinctively throw your hand in front to try and catch the arrow, as you've done so many times with your brother, and it just ricochets off a barrier. Look confused for a second as second arrow comes through as a natural 20. That one comes through. Stop in. critting my sweet lord! Everything's at advantage. Because they were invisible. They have now reappeared though, having uh, taken a shot at you. Uh, you take uh, 12 points of piercing damage and make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Oh, no, it wasn't a 19. Was, uh, was it not? No, I thought it was. It was a 12. Oh, I... oh okay. Well. Oh, you're fine. DC's 10. So you're oh, okay. good. <laughs> you are not poisoned by this. Cool. Um, that is the end of their turn. It would come to Smokey. What's Smokey's passive perception? Oh, how do I know that? It should say on Oh, 12. His... 12. Smokey, as you're sort of outside, Smokey would go... Just bound over. Like Lassie, who feels. I was going to say Lassie Skippy. Just, but... He just senses there's a child in a well. Smokey would <laughs> come through the door and will be met by the first of the cadaver sprites that sort of. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Smokey, let's go. Okay. Um... And also sees Isaria unconscious. Oh boy, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, well, for the purpose of this, we'll say the door was pushed to, it wasn't shut. Yeah. Um, well, might as well just go straight up with a fire breath. Um, <laughs> actually, no, no, I'll bite and claw. I'll, I'll, he'll multi attack. Multi attack, go for it. Um, you, hear, you, you would hear coming through, just hear Smokey say, <laughs> and <laughs> go and attack the, uh, the sprite. So. That's an eight. Eight. To bite. Misses. Okay, and then he goes for the claw. Oh, is that that's a five. five? That's a five. So that's that's a ten. Misses, unfortunately. Both of these. The as he goes to bite and snap, he's too busy looking over at Isaria, who's unconscious at the moment. You, who's standing there with this force field in front of you for some reason, um, and the sprite just flies Do up. Do any and of hits us see way. him? Smoky oh yeah, you off. see Smokey just Smokey would have been sat on your shoulders giving you warmth and then just hopped oh, off and trotted away. Yeah. So I mean, that has now got your attention. Flailing the sword about, but he was near me enough to know that I was gonna yes. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. What's that? Fine. Just, my note, just a notification from me. Some for something. <laughs> 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 I was not only fans. <laughs> that, that ends Smokey's turn. Uh, that brings us to Cassian's fun. turn. <laughs> it is Cassian's turn. Uh, it's me! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> Only dice. 
<laughs> if I see Smokey running off, um, and then you hit, then you hear. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll be like. Uh, okay, I'll run. Do that for today. I'll kind of not run, but I'll like slowly walk up and like open the door. Okay, you open the door. You see Smokey just sort of snapping and growling, and you turn to see this hideous undead sprite right at your eye level. In which case, I'm going to just uh, hit it with the sword that I've got in my hand. Sure, I'll make the attack roll. <laughs> so is this with a... So my hat is a plus seven, so which should be a plus six. Normally, should, normally no, a plus six. six. Yes. But my hand axe is a plus five. Uh, is that because you didn't up it? So what's your strength? Plus three. So, and your proficiency is three. So that should be a plus six. Plus six. Yes. See, so many things I forget. Is my unarmed strike a plus six? Yes. Sweet. Okay, so it's a plus six. Everyone's proficient with unarmed strike. They did in their arse on that one. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good strike. Um, so that's a 19. That'll hit. hit. Roll that. And it was, I'm going to do it with two hands because it's the only one I've got and I'm used to throwing the axe out. So that was sure. a 1d10. Make sure you call it before you make the roll. Just Sorry. No, it's fine. A 1d10. Yes. yes. That, that one is a d10. That's a d10, yes. That one. Yes. Aww. <laughs> one plus three. Strength modifier. So yeah, four. So four points of slashing damage. All right. You bring the sword up and you ah, and just cut into it. Just like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I can attack twice now! Let's do it! Let's do it again! Let's do it! Let's do it. <laughs> Let's be nice! nice. That's a three. She can attack twice. It's you will. a nine. You go for the second... You may swing your weapon. <laughs> you go for the second strike and you just catch it on the stone edge. Yeah. Clink, there's a suck. Yeah, doesn't hit it this time. Okay. Uh, anything in your bonus action? Oh, I can, I can restore me aura. Yeah, you can go into a rage if you want to. We'll say oh, you go no, there. let's go into my rage. Um, yes, I'll rage. Okay, you go into a rage. Uh, death save. I rage at the end of my turn. For dramatic effect. I forget that I can rage. Uh, that is a six on its death save, so roll damage for the lightning. One, two, six. Four points of lightning damage. Four points of lightning damage. You did as much with the lightning as you did with the sword, which is nice. Yay! Stay as a fat I'm Elijah, consistent! You're... Yeah, that is your turn. Elijah, you're up. Grits, I... up, <laughs> grits up next. Okay, okay that's no fine. worries. Um, I will cast Kinetic Jaunt. Ooh. Okay. Get in the old Sparky Boots. Yes. Sparky Boots! And I will attempt to run towards Yasari. Okay. And you go so far. <laughs> grab. <laughs> so? Grab and drag. Okay, so it doubles your speed. That adds ten feet. I can move forty-five feet. Okay, so dragging someone drops your movement by half. Okay. So you've got twenty-five. Feet. Sorry, so you're going twenty-five. So you've moved five, five feet, feet, so it's down to forty. So you've got twenty feet of movement. Okay. Twenty feet back out. Yep. So one, two, three, four. So it gets you past Smokey and just gets you. Eh. Smokey's small enough and nimble enough to get out of the way. We'll say sorry, is there, In the and you are out of the doorway. Smokey's on top. <laughs> <laughs> just around you. Smokey's there. As I've walked past protected. Cassie, I'll go, fuck this guy, we're leaving. Sounds good. Alright, that's your action movement. Anything else? Anything else? No, I'm leaving. Alright, uh, Grit's turn. Grit sees Asari being pulled out of the. Uh... He's your friend. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um... Powers up next. Um, Grit's just gonna go over and just do a cure wounds on Isaria. Sure. You are cured. So. <laughs> of wounds. That is seven points of healing to you. Seven points of healing? Okay, okay. you're still unconscious. I'm slightly healthier and unconscious. You're slightly healthier so and very unconscious. Good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Grit comes over and just gets some of the tools out and just starts bandaging up wounds and such and just sort of restoring the cuts and bruises. Can he bonus action help um, try and help drag mm. her out as well? Was uh, that Grit, action? I would say Grit used up his movement to get there because Grit has a lot oh, okay. less That's movement fine. than everyone so else. So he's done action, bonus, bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's fine, I'll leave it for now. Alright, Um. 
Was Elijah hurt? Yes. Right. You can see um, an arrow sticking out of Elijah's sort of <laughs> mid stomach. As long as it's a right, pal will out come <laughs> basically to the other side <laughs> from Brit. And out. he will also do a cure wounds, but he will twin <laughs> spell and touch both of them. Twin spell? Yeah. <laughs> Just do an Iron Man. The power of friendship! <laughs> Except that it's touch, so I can't fire it. Oh, just touch, touch two. Um, do I do D8, 1D8, and do it D8 both? Will, I'll say 1D8 will do it for both. Okay. That makes that easier. So that is seven points to each, each of you. Yay! Uh, do we need to take... Um, uh, yes, you will need to roll. And Actually, Rich yes, as well. Actually, um, and Elijah. So, and Elijah. So Elijah, make a charisma saving throw. Not disadvantage. <laughs> Roll a d100 and a d6. Great as well. Rich intelligence <laughs> saving throw. I got a one. Um, so that's nine. Nine. D100 and d6. 57 and we'll three. Okay, so we'll deal with these in the order they've come up. I forgot about this. Let's be funny. It's fine. Uh, Grit's intelligence 16. saving throw. Grit's fine. You fail, so... You failed first. 57 on a 3. Okay. I really should have just like, printed this out and made it easier on myself. There we go. My list of the table. That doesn't help me. This is Disney. Disney? <laughs> I saved it my We do not speak of our overlords, they may charge us money. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now we've got a subscription fee. <laughs> we're, we're all on the decent table, we'll probably be better than we're on the table. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You guys are like Every numbers. even number is your parents' stuff. What was it again? <laughs> it was 57. 57 on a 3. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I got this wrong, so this would have changed things up ever so slightly, because you, as you cast your spell to get your movement, a thunderous sound stuns you. Oh. So you would have actually been locked in the centre of the room, but I got that wrong, so you, we'll say it happens here in the middle. It's outside. a delayed stun. It's yes. a delayed stun. Just you have to be him. outside to hear it. <laughs> yeah. So until the end of your next turn, you are stunned. Okay. What was yours? 51 and 1. 51 and a 1. Okay. <laughs> No, I wonder what it was. Okay, so as you cast your healing spell, some of the residual <laughs> divine magic that flows from you appears and creates a spectral shield around you. You have a plus two to your armor class <gasps> and immunity to the magic missile spell. Cool. Oh, For the so rest good. of the turn? Uh, next minute. Wow. Well, <gasps> considering wow. I didn't cast major armor on myself <laughs> today, that's probably Very a good thing. That's what I'll you. <laughs> uh, so that was your turn. That brings us to uh, Staria. At the start of your turn, you take <coughs> one point of necrotic damage. Uh, 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 <laughs> why? Because of the bite. From the bite. Oh. I missed the bite. Um, but Just... you are unconscious. That's your turn. Okay. Brings us back to the top of the round and brings us to Norris. Nullith is going to use uh, Necrotic Rays. Um, one at Cassian. No. Uh, and one at... Actually, no, probably two at Cassian, because Cassian is big and in the way. So that is uh, 18 and a unnatural 20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that is 12 on the first. And 11 on the second. So 23. Three points from the cross damage. This is not hard because you are not that kind of bio. Oh. Necrotic. Necrotic, yes. Uh, that is that he's gonna move over here, so he is out of the direct line of the door. That ends his turn, Klaus. <sighs> he's now aware of things. Yeah. Can he see through the rabble? No. No <laughs> chance. Is aiming a thing? In... I do allow aiming to be as a Can bonus action to take an aim. aiming. I would say sure. Through the rabble, for if something were to appear, he would shoot it. Okay, so taking an aim and then take a bonus action, uh, take a the hold action. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So I will say so because he is be because he is aiming, only the first attack will have yes. advantage. If you make a second attack, it will just be a straight okay. or a disadvantage. Okay. Actually, it would be a straight roll anyway, but that makes perfect sense. Um, right, let's cast a turn. Uh, the cadaver sprites. 
are going to... The one that's there is going to make a bite attack against Smokey. Boo! Boo! For a 12 to hit. No, misses. Okay. The other three are going to take shots with arrows from where they are. Um, yeah, they're all going to aim at you because you're all the big target. Yes! Bright side, there's no danger of you losing your rage at any time soon. No. That's true. So the first one's a 9, which misses. Is the second silver is line. a 18. Yeah. And the 21. Yeah. So, make two constitution saving throws for me, please, and if not, you uh, fail either of them. Coming out of his rage, I'm doing just fine. He was saying I'd go down. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, How is it a 3 and a 5 again? 10 and a 12. 10 is the DC, so you're fine. <laughs> but that's the second time you've rolled that on those same dice. Really? It's been. I, okay. So plus. Here's the bonus dice. You're rolling well with that. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, let me take the dice. You take uh, 13 points of piercing damage reduced down by half to 7. Yeah. That's way more uh, agreeable. I like that. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Uh, that is the end of the Java Sprites. Smokey. Right. Um, yeah, he's going to go for that <laughs> same one again. Uh-huh. Um, multi attack. Okay, not use that green dice because it was a bad dice. Yeah, <laughs> the dice. They're not provided by game team. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's, better. that's, better. that's a 19 to hit yeah, the white yeah. attack. Nom nom. Um, 1d6 plus 3. <laughs> Oh, it's four <laughs> points. Yeah, it's, I didn't. <laughs> four points of piercing damage. Oh, plus 1d6 fire damage. Oh, six points of fire damage. So ten points of damage. As he, Smokey jumps up and bites onto the leg of this cadaver, pulling it completely off. <laughs> and it just <laughs> burns and cauterizes the wound. <laughs> Damn it, Smokey. You burn it too good. And then that's a, yeah, that's a 22 yes. to yeah. hit for a claw attack. Which is 2d6. I don't want the mind for the claw. The claw. Which is Enough. 6. Plus. So it's smoke, 9 smoky points sprint. of slashing damage. Having bitten onto the leg, Smokey leaps up again and just rakes into the stomach. And as it's all decomposed, it sort of maggots away and the claw gets in and oh. snaps the spine and the body falls to the ground. So you should probably tell him to drop that. That doesn't sound like it should be. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's like when dogs eat as something and they scrub their He that as the cave collapses. <laughs> 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 I am smoky. <laughs> we are good. Yes, we are smoky. <laughs> Me? Cassian. Sweet. Um, Shwings. Shwings. The base is alone. If I throw my hammer axe, is that different to just swinging with it? Uh, I mean, it goes away. You'd have to go pick but it up. It's not a throw. It's not a thrown weapon. So you can do it, but it'd be disadvantage. No, which is at I'm, disadvantage. I'm already at a disadvantage, so why would I not? Super disadvantage. Do you like your axe? <laughs> I do like my axe. And could, I like this. But it could look cool. <laughs> it could look cool. I just, oh, I could throw my hand axe. Anyway. Good. Anything is a javelin if you throw it hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, small um, children, dragon, peasant railgun's a thing. Did I hear, <laughs> did you say it. we're leaving? Did I hear? I'm, I'm leaving. Did you say or did you just drag us I out? said, fuck this guy, I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> you guys. Screw you guys, I'm getting <laughs> him. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> South Park. <laughs> really? Okay. No, I don't. Wow. No, no. Good for you. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, so you young. You <laughs> Not so young. I just never watched it. You grew up in a heavily monitored household. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I would have thought I'd grown up in a heavily monitored household if anyone did. Do I attack It was, but just not by your parents. Always just no, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for the big, I'm going to go for Nala, because he okay. made, he's made me feel uncomfortable since his time. And <laughs> you, uh, you said something that unsettled me. You Thus, you made must me die. very, very uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm going to, I've got the golden sword in my hand, so I'm going to go over. Kapowi, Kapowi. <laughs> Probably oh, yes. not that side. I'm going to stay, just, yeah, okay, go down. 
You okay. too can swing a gold sword, just like if me. You try hard enough. Ciao. Ciao. Okay. Uh, Good card reference. Make it tougher. Remember, you can be reckless to so give yourself advantage to cancel it out. But then the attacks against you would be yeah, with advantage. Yeah, I'm already no. I'll keep it as disadvantages. You've got two attacks. This is plus six. So. <gasps> it's a nine. Nine misses. You go for the first swing of the sword, and the rake comes up and just blocks the sword coming through. Natural one. Nice. So Building you... vicious garden utensils. <laughs> Not the rake. <laughs> you take the blade and uh, the, you go to stab again, but he just catches it and just gets the the hook of his weapon and just spins it down. Slamming the blade into the ground. Oh, so I've dropped the blade as well. Yeah, just okay. parried him. Storm your aura. Sure, deck save. Uh, 15. That is the DC. Nimble for a really old dead guy. Old dead guy. <laughs> so he makes it. I relate. Yes. <laughs> so half D6. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. I wonder how you can find him before you did this. Well, we're leaving, we're leaving. Half of one is still one. one. No, no, no one was confirmed. It takes like one damage. Away. That is the damage. end of Cassian's turn. Good, good. To Elijah, unless you would like to move. Good, good. You um, did move. That I moved a small amount. Now I'll stay. Moving in. I'm stunned. You are stunned. You're stunned. Stay. All right, great. Does that mean that I'm can't cast or do anything? You 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 lose your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it fades at the end of this turn. Yes. Yeah. Um. I'm leaving in a minute. <laughs> Eventually. Grit will. Say to Klaus, what, what's going on? <laughs> hey, uh, not Klaus, sorry, Elijah. Hey, uh, what's going on? Well, I wake up in the morning and I start. No, you're done. Oh, right, I feel it's like yeah, right. And I took a deep breath and I get real high. <laughs> <laughs> you're sorry, I tried to help Klaus. He's not a big fan of violence in his cave. Um, okay. Is, Ari, is this Arya up? Are you up? Nope, unconscious. I'm dragging. You're still unconscious. Very, very much don't, a dead don't weight. Accuse, don't be accusing of me. It's well, we healed. <laughs> oh, actually. Actually, that's a fair point. We healed her like twice. <laughs> you took damage, so actually you are conscious now, but you are, you. that was at the end of the turn, so. Okay. But you're not up. Well, yeah. you're okay, you are conscious, okay. but you're prone. With a smoke cut off of me. Can, who, who's chewing a to get, can can take grit, off leg? Can Grit get into. Can, can so. he see through the door? Uh, not easily. There's a lot Can he get through the door? Yeah. We'll move through the allies. Okay, can he just go like over here? Mm-hmm. And. He can, whether he should. Shush. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, I'm touching things and that's why. Um, let me just <laughs> <laughs> so often the problem. Mm. I'm touching things. Right, I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna re- keep it really simple. Um, I'll just crossbow. Cro- hit me with a crossbow, Steve. Hey, you eat pancake. Thank you for the bits. Woo! Woo! We like bits. Yeah, I'm gonna crossbow him. Crossbow? Go for it. No, I assume. Uh, disadvantage for grip. Oh, no, basically anyone that's not a disadvantage. But it doesn't matter anyway, it was an eight. Oh, okay. Um, the shot goes yeah. thunk and just goes wide. Yeah. Does he get two attacks? He does. He does at this level. Attacks per action is two. Yeah, he gets two attacks. Yes. However, with a crossbow, it has the reloading feature, so he is not able to take two attacks with crossbow. Unless he took a feat. He did not. He's okay. So is there anything? Or he makes a self-loading crossbow. That's what Leela did. So I can't. I can. I can re. I can get him to reload. I'll, I'll get him to reload. Okay. Oh, I know what. Um, I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah. Reloaded, ready for the next turn. Yeah. All right. How fast you're on? Are we tracking across? Are we tracking bolts? Uh, probably, but will, it's fine. Don't worry. We'll worry about it. Yeah, I'll make it just a little. Just make yeah. a tally. Pal oh. is going to cast Beacon of Hope. Okay. Oh. No, it's still very hopeful. Uh, that's a twenty, uh, twenty-three on my charisma saving throw. Okay. Uh, I do not have my white ones of these, so I'm going to put this grey one around you. And uh, on the point of casting it, I could choose up to any number of creatures within 30 feet of me. Yes. 
it doesn't even say that you can see. Yeah. So uh, I can get all my allies in that. Yay. And we all have advantage on wisdom saving throws and any healing is maximized. Sorry, say that again. Healing's maximized. We all have advantage on wisdom saves okay. and he all healing is maximized. And saving throw, should it happen? Sorry, that was bad. No, worse. Is that because you, that, because you can't hit the dice tray? What did you just move there? Because then you can't. Of course, I've got one arm. And he's left handed, so. Yeah, that's true. He's an awkward either. They're going back. <laughs> Alright, so that's your action. That, that's it. Right. I'm staying here. Sorry, <laughs> <It's not really laughs> you're up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will get up. Ah, oh, Smokey will just move to the side. You are still, you are still poisoned. Sure. But no. Yes. That has poison. Been, that no effect on the village. This is why I've done stuff. It doesn't make any difference at the moment. Oh, I will see that Cassian is engaging. Engage. I will just say, see, Nullis doesn't like fighting in here, even against weird, creepy, invisible things. Let's get out of here, and I'm leaving. Oh. Okay. Did I hear that? Yes. <laughs> Carry me on your strong arms, I'm paralysed! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the end of uh, Isari's turn. It is now Nullis' turn. I'll take the dodge action just for the sake of our gadgets. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, he's going to make two attacks with his uh, his rake on you. It's me! Good. He is. Good, good. He's going to take up the leaves. Uh, 13. No. And a 16. That is my armor class. Okay, so 16 hits. Sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything else, it's just damage. For... Eight points of slashing damage reduced down to four. Right, that is your yeah, turn. that as well. Klaus. It's Martha just moving furniture. Oh, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. <clears throat> oh, I really want to do this so far. It's Klaus's turn, not yours. Is it? Oh. Yes. Aww. But next turn you can do it. do it with Klaus. Yeah. Longbow. Is it a longbow? It is a longbow. Longbow. Ah. Uh, what do you with longbow, Steve? Yeah, longbow. That's ten. At some point one of us will make a character is called he... Steve. Eventually. <laughs> is he still scared? And then yes. never use a crossbow. Oh They're both 11s. Ooh, cool. Hits. Which one are you aiming for? That is the no. Side. Okay, no. Hit for all damage. <laughs> it hit Tommy, panicked. <laughs> Panic! Ten points of damage. Nice. Ten points of damage. Nice. nice. He too is just a fighter, so he, he steps around and takes a shot, uh, firing through the gaps. Go on, go on, Fighters here. Yeah. Eleven and nine. I mean, he has fighter, paladin, and barbarian in the party. Yeah. Eight. Plus, an arse fighter that is good for attacking. How much? Eight. Eight damage? Nice. Action surge. Go for it. Nine. Still 19. 17. Yeah, it's. Ten points of damage. No, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage? Alright. Last one. Action surge. action surge gives you a full action. Oh, so it's an extra attack. Ten. Double fives. Ten. Oh no, fifteen. Fifteen? Hits. So if he steps round the corner, he takes four arrows in his quiver and just lines them all up and nice. <laughs> That's ten I like it. That's ten points of damage. No! As it they all impact as well. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> um that is the end of Gust, and it is time for the cadaver sprites to do the cadaver sprite things. Um, so they will... Hmm, do they want to flank? It could be fun. Oh no! Not the flanky flank! No, they are going to stay where they are and they're going to take arrow shots. So, uh, in fact, no, the one over there is going to take a shot. It's going to shoot at Klaus. Close. For a 17 to hit. Yep. Can't save for Klaus. Oh, no, 16. No. 16? That's, That's fine. Okay. Uh, takes 6 points of piercing damage. That's not with his plus 3. So 
that's that. Uh, the other two, screw they are going to come in to flank you. And they are both going to do a corrupting bite on you. Which is a 22 on the first. And a 19 on the second. They flank you. Thank you. And a what? Sorry. 19. 19 to hit. They both hit, so you take. Not as bad as it was before. 11 points of piercing damage reduced down to 6. And 5 points of necrotic damage. Them. And then make a constitu- two constitution saving throws for me, please. So you know you only need to roll a 3. Uh, this is a different this, DC. This is, uh, All right. This is <laughs> okay, so that's one. And another one, please. <laughs> that was a natural one, viewers. That one's fine. Oh, oh maybe I should roll my eyes closed from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one of those is okay. So I remember that from the beginning of the turn. That is the end of the Gadara Sprite Smoky. Um, I mean, I could fire breath, but um. Oh, can you fire? Can you do it in a line? It's a cone, I believe. But you could aim it cone, so that each the... creature in that area must make a DC dexterity. So we could ang- He's moving angle so it doesn't hit Cassian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets these. That way. Those two at the end. He's got six DCs. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Okay. So this... Well, that, that guy is dead to me. Ah, good. <laughs> don't give it back to her. Do the wrong very well. I'm gonna roll with it. Give him one of yours. I don't actually know where it's from. Seventeen on that one and a natural nineteen on both oh, guys. So it's next to DC. Oh, but I think it still gets half. <laughs> that was worse. Um, five D six. Five D six of fire damage halved. Both of them. That is number three. Two, four, nine, ten. 14, 7 points of fire damage. 7 points of fire damage to C and the dead speaker. Dead speaker. No. Alright, that's Mookie's turn. Cassian. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, just put in the sword away in action. No, you can just swap it. And... Yeah, I'm gonna get my hacks. Well, you dropped you drop the sword in the last time. Oh yeah, oh, well, I'm gonna get my hacks out then. Sure, go for it. Get your hacks out for the lads. Get my hacks out for the lads. That's, 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 as you drop the blade to one side and grab the hacks and swing out, another parries the two strikes again, and just you, you can't see his face, but just the eyes just glint slightly. <laughs> Elijah, time for fun stuff. <coughs> I am going to almost Go creature-like run with like, <laughs> with like a, an all four kind of gallop and yeah. then just launch myself at Nullah. Oh, okay. Uh, an attempt to bite it. Make a death roll. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, son. Shit, son. At disadvantage. <laughs> Come on. Uh, like a 16? 16 hits. If it is a 16, we'll find out. Seven. Yeah, 16. 16 yeah. hits. Roll damage. Now, how does your. This is the first oh, time you've used your bite Yuri. this day. Mm. Yes, you prefer. Who are you talking to? You just want me to I'll let you do that. I'm him. On him? Okay. Uh, that is a two plus um, stuff, so not not enough to beat your DC. So D6 of lightning damage. Five points. Five points of lightning damage. How does your bite work on the, what does it specify? Just read it out for me, please. Your fanged bite is a natural weapon which counts as a simple melee weapon which you are proficient with. You add your constitution modifier and severe or strength modifier to the attack damage rolls. When you attack with this bite, you have 1d4 piercing damage on a hit. While you are missing half or more, more of your hit points, you have advantage on attack rolls with this bite. Okay, so there's nothing. What's the blood drain? Is that any part of it? So is that something else? Uh, so, uh, so when you attack with this bite. And here, a creature that isn't a construct or a dead. Okay, so that part doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. Um, cool, so how much damage? Uh, seven. Seven? Cool. 
you come in here, <laughs> bite in just below the jaw. And then you get a sense of impending doom as he just looks at you. That's your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to do anything with bonus action? I don't know how to do with the bonus action. You're a bard. <laughs> I am! Inspire. I will inspire Cassian! Oh, okay. yay! I have the inspiring bite. Okay. Ha! Ah. Okay, I think you got it! Ow! <laughs> uh, Grit is up next. What this so mask. Good. You two can do this. This really hurts. This mask really hurts I the teeth. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good news a lot of chunky monkey back at the station. Thank you. <laughs> You guys and your quotes. <laughs> you, you and your quotes. You guys I, and your I understand quotes. pop culture. No one in this no one in this conflict has read up them. <laughs> no. no. Anyway, what's Grit doing? Hold on. Working Hold on. it out. Un momente, por favor. This fight is brought to you. Uh, oh, I do want lingo. <laughs> if only. I mean if they sponsored us, I would take that up and just be like, that's so what I would really learn German. <laughs> Yeah, you're short. <laughs> you're only marrying a German. No, the only one I know nine fucking it doing. Um, no, you speak no, German. I speak German. <laughs> no. Can Grit run up to this sprite? Yes. One, two, three. Can he shock and grasp it? Sure, make uh, attack roll. Is it with advantage? Uh, <laughs> not from that position. Oh, yes, that is flanking. This would be. So it's straight roll. No, Grit doesn't have disadvantage, does he? Oh, Grit does not have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is advantage. So that was an eight. Boop it in the face. Yeah. With a shocking grasp. That was an actual one. 16. 16 next roll damage. Dots. Oh, God. Oh. Six <laughs> points of lightning damage. Six points of lightning damage. I cannot take reactions of this turn. It is unsurprisingly not wearing metal armor. All right, uh, that's Grit's turn. Uh, make intelligence saving throw for Grit, please. Oh, yeah. 18 That's plus right. whatever, 26. 26. Yes. Fine. Palimpsest. Palimpsest has science. It's super <laughs> effective. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the, the, what we do here. Um, size, to believe. I am going to... Uh, Extend a second level cure wounds to Cassian. Okay. So Cassian gets 19 points of healing. Thank you! Beacon of hope! I loved it when I played it. Uh, Such it's a so strong. Crit! Okay, you do not have the spell effect go off in your face. Cool. Uh, anything with your bonus action? Or... Because when you nope. Oh, maximum healing! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Ow, my eyes feel fantastic. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You're yeah. leaving, no one else is. <laughs> yeah. So you, you said this thing is almost half cave like? Yes. It's literally been carved out of the, le the rock of the cliff. Okay, so it's not. It's not built a house at that all. We throw it not, no, it's not built. It's just been hollowed out. And Looks like a very sturdy structure, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. It's like it's, i.e., the cliff. <laughs> that is generally what I was thinking, yeah. but. That's I mean, it has. It does have a protrusion that's coming out of it. So there is a, but it is part of the wall. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to bring the roof down. Yeah. Oh, who's been talking? Try it hard enough. How strong are you? <laughs> hey, we got some more bits. I mean, more bits. More thank bits, you, Leap Pancake. Bits. We all that's love awesome. bits. More bits. More bits. Should I should I roll to see if I think that's a possibility? What are you trying to do? Sorry. Bring I'm considering trying to bring the roof down. Do I think that's possible? Roll an intelligence check with disadvantage. Okay. Oh, just followed us. <gasps> Thank you for the follow as well. Four. Four. Anything's possible if you try hard enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna smack the wall and start trying to bring the roof down. Sure. Magic make an attack. Make an attack roll. Just to the wall. Anything is possible. <laughs> That's the point. I think I missed the wall. <laughs> You take a swing with the wall, at the wall, you swing your mace, you put the shield to one side, and swing hard, you think you're going to get this, and you go through the window, and just watch as your mace flies through the room, oh, no. as you throw it through here, I'll make a deck save for smoke juice, it flies over his head and just toot toot, and just lands over here somewhere. That's my favourite hammer! You have another attack. 
Hal is just going to look at this again. Can Maybe use... she hit her head harder than we thought yesterday. Can I, can I use the thing I would use for an attack to drop my shield? I'll allow it, sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, dropping it is just putting it from the side. Yeah, the there we go, that's what I'll do. Then. Don't worry. Alright. Brings us up to uh, Nalith's turn. Oh, Nalith is going to look at the thing that is, has deigned to bite him <laughs> and is going to uh, rake you twice. <coughs> Thank you very, very much. It then leaves up. That is a 15 and a natural 20. Miss on one. There you go. Oh. Um, hit on both. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I could shield, but I don't fully understand how this works. Yet. Oh. It happened on luck. Uh. So on the non crit is uh, nine points of slashing damage. Yep. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. 24 points of slashing damage. Jeez. Oh, Still conscious? Totally fine. Totally fine. Alright. Uh, that will end the turn. Klaus. Oh. <laughs> Longbow. That's why I had it on there. Uh, I feel like now Klaus could possibly get a better angle oh, by yeah. actually coming in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Longbow, ha. Ah. I'm going to say, at this point, with so many creatures around you, he does have partial cover. Just a plus two to his AC. So 16 yeah. doesn't hit. Uh, 16 just hits. Good. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, six points of damage. Okay. That's good. That's up. Yeah. 22. Double hit. Better. Just. <laughs> Technically is. Yes, yes, yeah. so that is uh, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage, okay. Strictly one better. Strictly, technically. Aiming the shot just so it goes past the sprite and everyone else that is in there. Klaus takes the fires and. Uh, takes the fires, takes the shots and they impact into uh, Nalith's arm as he's striking into you. Seemingly in a sense of protecting. Fools. I can't die. I can't think. Can't die of this. I'm not gonna kill you. The I'm cadaver. gonna murder you. <laughs> <laughs> the cadaver sprites are going to go again. So the one that's in the back corner that's been left alone is going to take a uh, short bow at Klaus for an 18 to hit. Yep. Uh, Come save me, please. It's fine. Uh, 22. Two, yeah. yeah, fine. Seven points of piercing damage. Uh, then the other two are going to use their chance to bite against you, Grit. Actually, no. Grit or Klaus. Klaus. Actually, one's going to attack Grit or Cassian. Cassian, sorry. One's going to attack Cassian for a 24 to hit. Uh, dealing seven points of piercing damage and four points of necrotic. Uh, seven reduced to four, so eight total. I'm oh, no. sorry. Numbers. Eight. eight total. Actually, I just realised I should have done another D4 of necrotic <coughs> at the start of your turn. So another, add another four to that. So twelve, 12. total this turn. And then a con save for you, please. <sighs> Oh no. Okay, so that will happen again at the beginning of your turn, so that's fine. The other one's going to make a corrupting bite against you. The lighter, which will miss on a nine. Yes, it will. Uh, that is the end of the sprite, Smokey. Roll D6 to see if he gets his breath weapon back. He doesn't. No, it's fine. Which uh, is fine, basically. <laughs> and that one again. Um, he will multi attack. Multi attack. Multi attack. But you have a sprite. Attacks in America. <laughs> multi attack. Multi oh, no. attack. No, he doesn't have. Why? No, he doesn't have disadvantage. No, he's fine. No, <laughs> he fits. Three misses. Eighteen. That'll hit with his claws. I assume. Yeah, that's a claw. I always go. Yeah. Two D six. Two D six. Six plus three. Nine points nine of slashing damage. damage. I mean, nine, sure. See, 
He jumps up again, goes for the bite, and the sprite flaps its wings to get away, and like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and its face just gets torn off by Smokey's claws, and he flails, <laughs> falling back to the ground. <laughs> Is that one dead? That one is dead, yes. Number three Yay. is the Flanking. Removed. Did it, did it, did it. Flanking removed. Oh, Cassie. we got a fun advantage. Don't matter, it's dead. He wouldn't have he had wouldn't advantage. Have. Because Unless he... he moved slightly down. It doesn't matter. It's fine. He could have had a blood. Cassian, you are up. At the start of your turn, you take two points of the crunch damage. Um, okay, let's go and hit the bad guy again. Nullet. Nullet. The bad guy. The bad guy. Better. That is 17 to hit. That's good. Yay. Um, I'm going to hit him with the axe side. Should I have declared that first? You should do, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's so difficult when it's the same one and I'm like, which one? Um, one D. That's in the chest. Plus and your rage damage. Eleven plus four, thirteen plus two, fifteen points of slashing damage. Nice. This is better. This is better. Second attack. Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen just hits. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, five, six. Seven, seven points of slashing damage. Yeah, seven points of slashing damage. And you then, come through with the first successful hit. You strike, cleaving it into it. You bring it up again and go down. He brings the block to block and it slides down, hitting into the other wall. You just the, the subtle your first hit. No. I think I'm null if it is. I think it might be. I'm null if it is. I think you've swung four times on the fifth. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've hit, I know I've hit some sprites. No, I haven't. No, Cassie hasn't hit any of them. It's all been smoke kick. <laughs> Smoke is the MVP I finally of the got past. in there, guys. I finally got in. Um, and then I'd like him to make a saving throw, please. 17 That's plus nice. stuff. So, so half damage? Nice. Three, two, 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 three. I round up. Three, I round up. He is looking rough. Didn't he start? I mean, yes. But he, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say he looks bloody, but he doesn't have blood. So blood. So it's true. Yeah, I uh, that brings us to Elijah. 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 <laughs> and Smokey. <laughs> and Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> kill me. <laughs> uh, Surely Coin will protect you. Coin. I, I, I was trying to remember where there's a character called Coin. It's, <laughs> no, I, uh, I think of it more of Book from Hocus Pocus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, there is actually a character called Coin in Sorcery by yes, Terry Pratchett. Right. Oh, I was actually going to say Terry Pratchett. It's well. a Terry Pratchett. Yeah, calling call something character. Coin. I'm going to bite him again. All right, go for it. Make a tank roll. I just know um, most from Little Bite. Death by Norm. Death by none. Death yeah. by none. Hits, roll damage. So, say he can't die. He didn't say he can't be eaten. Are you limited on how many times you can do fights? Three. How do you want to fair. end this? <gasps> I want to bite where his jug would be. His jug. And, and just rip it out and then just, when I rip it out with my mouth, I then want to put my hand in and just keep pulling stuff that looks important. <laughs> okay, just make the gap and then just keep... You reach in and you bite and tear your head away, leaving a, a cavity. You reach in and you just start pulling stuff. That's an esophagus. Sure. That's a bit of Tongue. spine. <laughs> Tongue. You're just chucking stuff all over the place as the body starts to disintegrate. You shouldn't have watched those medical shows. All of you that... Have the effect upon you? Still have it. <laughs> 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 it, it gets ten times worse. No, it lives. You no longer feel the sense of impending death. Would that have stayed there until he died? <laughs> Is the real yeah. or something else? Who knows? <laughs> Or, or it was fulfilled. Or something else? Who knows? Or for real. Uh, but that is your action. Do you want anything with bonus? Uh, well, so I had the shortest sense of impending doom of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it lasted approximately 30 seconds. Yeah. 
Uh, I wish to leave. Uh, my bonus action will be to. So pull... he's oh, yeah. dead. My bonus action will be to pull his um, spinal column out. No, his mask. Oh yeah, no, I want that. Yeah, I want his mask. Okay, I pull his. <laughs> I grab the spine sense. and lift, so it's like predator-esque with his sure. head. <laughs> sure. And I'll well. leave with the mask on the head. <laughs> Leaving the mask on the head, are you taking the mask off? No, no, like, I, I grab, I pull. He's taking okay, the whole taking thing, the head, thing okay. as a okay. head the spinal cone. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Jeez. And I leave. Great. Oh. Yeah, you can, oh, you've got movement to move away, so you can't. I have 45, I don't provoke opportunity attacks. I'm <laughs> off. Just leave. Oh my goodness. There's nothing next to you. I to entered do. frightened, I left like a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is your turn. That brings us to Grit. I've been getting off for getting my sentence. Oh yeah, um, uh, you haven't been grit, anyway. Sorry. So. <laughs> grit, did you say? Grit, yeah. I did say. Um, can are the sprites? Has anything happened to the sprites? Are they still going? They're still there. That um, one's that one's been hurt by the one at the corner. Been hit by a smite. The other one that's in front of you hasn't been damaged. Grit will go over here and shock and grasp. Sure, this make guy. a tank roll. No disadvantage. Wow, he didn't have it. Anyway. I know. Seventeen hits. Roll damage. But also do an intelligent saving throw. Also, that we'll do that in a second. <laughs> oh, no, that unfortunately is not yeah. his fault. Six points of lightning damage. Fries it to a crisp. Yay! Just reaches up and just grabs it by the wings and just feels the spark go down one end and just creates a circuit. And it just. Mmm, barbecue! Uh, roll an intelligent saving throw for me, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, roll it. 18. Fine. Grit never does this. Grit's, Grit's better at his saving. <laughs> Except when he lost all his teeth. Except yes. when he lost all his teeth, he now has Really? Teeth. He's taking. He's he learned from He's now. had few. He's, He's intelligent, up. unlike the rest of us. Oh, I'm Cess, you're up. Um, am I right in thinking that uh, Elijah took a heavy hit? Yeah. And he happens to be right next to me. Oh. Yes. So. I will give Elijah a third level uh, cure wounds. Me and my five hit points. Uh, with that. 27 <laughs> healing. Five hit points, thank you for your contribution. And, um... <laughs> Check out our level four, please. Uh, that's 13 <laughs> on the saving well, throw. D60, 100, please. That is 67 on one. On one. 67 on one. Okay. Okay, okay. So as you cast this spell, you rest your hand upon Elijah and you restore as much life force as you can give. But as he turns to thank you, the vision that you see in front of you terrifies you. This... Skull, spine <laughs> holding yeah. Yeah. skull yeah, yeah, yeah. creature. You are frightened of the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. <laughs> you are frightened of I feel like I got my dramatics across well then. Yeah. I run 30 feet that direction. <laughs> you have an attack of opportunity if you so wish that. <laughs> Hit him with Do the I... skull. <laughs> 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 A critically missed. <laughs> Natural <laughs> one. Okay, that injured your turn. Um, that, that would be perfect. then. That was good. Yes. You are so, no longer afraid. You see the one sprite left through the window, and you see your maul just sort of bouncing around in the middle of the room. Not my hammer, but yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Yes, I will enter the room. If you could move, move it roughly where my hammer should be. Yeah, that's be. 25 feet. Yeah. Um, I'll hook a javelin at that remaining. Go for it, make a tackle. Hook a javelin, hook a javelin. Unnatural 20. Yes. For nine piercing. I'm hooked a bit. Now, you throw the javelin, chunk, it impacts into it. I mean, it passes through the chest gadget, but it still hurts it all the way. You know, javelin hitting a thing that's that big is going to take a good chunk of it. Yeah. Just like a hole, just. Yeah. Oh, I've got another attack as you well. Do. Oh, Not the javelin. So many Another javelin, yeah. Bonus javelin. Probably doesn't do anything with his head. The ten misses the water. Yeah. 
Alright, that will end the your turn. Brings us to the top of the round, which is Klaus. Oh! Longbow. At number four. Get free. A number four longbow, please. I'm no longer frightened. And it sucks. I think that's the first one I missed. <laughs> 13? Uh, just misses. Second attack. That's better. 22? It's cruel some damage. Damage. The damage? Oh, uh, 11. Is exactly what you needed to defeat this last one. So the Fuck second, yeah. the first shot, the, the first shot goes through the cavity that was left behind by the javelin. The second one is going, <laughs> hits it right between the eyes and thunk. Nice, nice, nice. And it just split the skull, splits around the arrow. <laughs> he dramatically shifts his bow. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the combat, dear oh. friends. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> is that you saying that, or is it a bit of both? The end of the music, just it's just like the silence. <laughs> column A, bit of column B. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I wonder if those weird sprite things were Lilith's friends. Hmm. Weird. Well, I don't. I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, no, you are. Sorry, far. when did I end stop? Of your t- end of your turn. Uh, end of my right. next turn. Yes. So you're still frightened of it. So I go another 60 feet that way. Yep, up, up the river. And then slowly wait my way back, dropping concentration. Right, I'm, with, I'm with Pal. <laughs> oh, well, you're yeah, chasing. You followed him. That was the wrong well, you way. don't want to now search that. Yes, yes, you do. I'm really bad at searching. <laughs> same, same. Great. Wait, what is... Oh, investigate. oh no, I'm not too bad. It's okay. worse. Um, I'm going to collect my hammer, my javelin, and go back out and collect yeah, my and shield. Yeah, I'm going to pick up my sword. Fair enough. And just kind of like, do that manly thing where you like, shake it off and just like, I'm fine. <clears throat> I'm fine. Just like, feel uh-huh. myself. Anyone um, just feel like a bit of a weight's been lifted? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, how beaten up do, does Cassian look? Um, Cassian's a little hurt. Uh, Right. Oh, okay. If we go for another fight, maybe not, but... <laughs> okay, shake it off. Oh, I'll lay on hands for ten. Oh, thank you. Wait, do we still have the... Oh, bless them. The hands. temporary hit points would have uh, been eaten first yeah. from your maximum. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. no, I'm talking the about max less. healing. The ten hit points you gave you were at their maximum yeah. potency. <laughs> you, you don't roll for loud hands. It's just yeah. a pool. Just just happens. Happens. That's fine, mm. thank you. That's also, good. I did say I let it drop. So. Oh, sorry. I don't listen. I do apologise. <laughs> I just don't listen. I do. I, I don't listen. I just do. It would have been easy to miss anyways. Yeah. Good barbarian role play. I don't listen. I just yeah. do. <laughs> I'm trying to. Alrighty. So, uh, what are you doing? I'm going to inspect this mask. Mm, okay. You're thing. taking it off his head. Yeah. Okay. You take it off. Underneath is a very, very old human ish face that has withered and is wrinkled to high hell. So basically the eyes at this point are just black sockets, but still something in there to sort of keep an eye and watch. He was really conscious of it. His face is pretty desiccated at this point. Skin pulled taut. The mask itself is just a uh, copper coloured mask, um, plain on front, but good make. I break it to his neck mm-hmm. just to keep the head, and I just attach the head to the side of my body. Oh my god, I'm okay. Yeah, Kraken. What are you, what are you <laughs> doing in the mask? Leave it on it. Okay, you put the mask back on. No right, worries. Alright. Um, what is this? Uh, that is a bed. I like to search the, 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 the room. Making this I will assist. With advantage. With advantage, not disadvantage. <laughs> Did you ever use my body expression? No, I haven't. Got D6. Oh, that's a 15 plus a 3, which is 18. Plus a D6 if you want it. It, it does. It. Oh. 23. And how does it uh, give the benefit as well? Oh, yeah, it does do a different thing for a. What, what was that? Ability check. Ability check. The mode of creation floats around and is used as 
To oh no, that's motor potential. Motor ability check. Yes. Oh, uh, the die can be rolled again. I mean, you're not going to make much better. You could do. And choose which roll. Oh, might okay. as well roll again to see if you get a six. No, for you 23. Don't. 23, okay. Um, there isn't a huge amount that is kept in here. Um, there's no food, no rations, nothing of any particular. There doesn't seem to be anything he used to did he grow keep a himself. Garden? Uh, he That's did outside. outside, just more for the sake of him, his own amusement. Ah, okay. More than anything else. Okay. He's searching the inside. Does also, uh, you do have his weapon. Ooh. It was a staff. It was a, it was a, it was like a staff, but with a hooked. Uh, well, let's see if I can find an image of it to show you later. Okay. Yeah. Um, Depending if I could use it. Aren't you going to get a nice? I've got to build it. Um, this sort of this rake like uh, thing with a black line on this a rake like thing. It's it's described as a rake in the description of what the weapon is. Um, more like what they used to cut grass with. Yes, it's more like a, a scythe kind yeah. of thing. Ah, uh, okay. But, uh, or like sickle, death. sickle, yeah. sickle blade on the end of a stick, effectively. Mm. Is that all I find? Yeah, there's nothing else really to find. I can't do my anybody want this. Oh, does it look like a gardening implement? No, it does look like a weapon. Stabbing you with a trowel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I do have a stuff. There are some gardening tools around as well, some like basic stuff that's sort of like under a, in a cupboard. Does it look like something I could wield? This weapon? Yeah. Potentially. No, no. Okay, I'm probably just going to leave, leave, leave it down here. No, no, no. This gold sword doesn't fit my aesthetic, but it's cool as hell. No, I you think make... you should go with just making it cool. You, you make it work. <laughs> Thanks. I put it back in my belt. Very pleased with myself. And I just like... In your head, you yeah. just hear... That'll work, too. Huh? Thank you, coin. Who's coin? Do you say that That's out coin. loud? Yeah. Coin? Okay. Nah, no, Cassian wouldn't question it. He's too busy still looking. I question it. That's no, I'm worried. You're right, Elijah. Yeah, totally fine. Well, Can I moderate violence. Check whether I believe it. Make a missile check. Make this. Make a deception or persuasion check with your choice. Not with disadvantage. <laughs> Natural one. Twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <not> <laughs> Elijah. There's nothing wrong. There. Nothing wrong here. Okay. Uh, should we go see if there's anything growing in that in that garden? We did, we did need some more provisions. Sure, let's have a look. Right. Oh yeah, that's quite your field, isn't awesome. it? Oh, I made a joke. Cha. All right, you head out into the garden. Uh, there are some root vegetables that are growing in the relative shade. There is there seems to be this patch of land. You can sort of have a look and look up. It does get some sunlight eventually during the day, but not much. So it does seem to be mostly root vegetables that are grown here. But there are, they seem to grow in the, it's not really soil down here. It's sort of like cultivated rock almost, but they seem to grow somehow. I'm going to try and dig something up, I see what it, it is. Yeah. You able to dig a couple of things up, and they're, they're like a potato. Right. It's like a potato. Uh, do they do they seem ready <laughs> for harvest or storage? underground? Um, they do look like they are ready for harvest. Well, might as well try and get some of these up. I will also look through the gardening equipment you said to see if anything yeah, strikes me. They as are surprisingly useful. well maintained. There is a general, a full gardening set of tools in there. Um, you know, trowel and such. Trowel, hoe. It's a good job that I don't garden. No, me neither. It's a good job that the gods were so nice to let him at least step outside and get his vitamin D. Well, he had, had to do something for a thousand years. Yeah, but he said he couldn't leave. He couldn't, so... leave this, he couldn't leave this area. Yeah, exactly. So he's still allowed to get outside. It's really just like being in lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect COVID. Yeah. 
if we're or if it's all right to take the time, I will try oh, and um, yeah. harvest the vegetables. And yeah, add to our I have Take a short rest if you so wish. I would like doing a short rest. Yeah. Presumably, I can't take a short rest while doing it. But then it's I... not. It's not excessive work. This is for you. This gardening. is hobbying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's cultivated rock, I feel like it might be harder work than, than normal. Not much. It's, but more, I, like, it's more like digging through gravel. I've basically. taken no damage and yeah. I get nothing back on a short rest, so I don't yeah, necessarily need one. You can spend your time taking a short rest if you so choose yep. each of you. I will spend my short rest studying this rake. I thought you were going to say head. Head. You're going to learn how to get oh, ahead in adventuring. Temporary hit points. Jeez. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. No. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have disadvantage now. Um, so it's at the end of a long rest that you would be able to do lots. Yeah, no, I'm just looking at it to see. Um, okay, uh, I can show you what it looked like, and actually I can show you, give you an image of what Noeth looks like now that you have dismembered him. Oh. Wow. But with a mask. He's but actually mask. rather fashionable. But that is a weapon you have now taken. <laughs> show the people at home. Okay. Yeah. There you go, people at home. There you go, everyone. That is a weapon you now have, that sort of... Oh, I, I wasn't looking at the weapon, show me again. Pointy. Pointy is almost like a, an axe blade with a circle. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like an up to date scythe. Yes. And kind of heading towards a bill hook almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wrecking ball. Squiddly diddly. Squiddly diddly do. That's what I look for in weapons. <laughs> Squiddly diddlies. Squiddly diddliness. Alright. So over the course of the, the short rest, you are able to dig up a various crop of potatoes. As you are digging them up, you, you do hit everywhere. you do hit one with the trowel, just sort of literally going through it, and it does split it open, you're able to talk, have a look at it. The structure inside, as it breaks apart, is almost like that of a geode. It is purple and almost crystalline as it breaks. It doesn't break like a normal potato does. <laughs> it looks like my deed. Oh. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't break like a normal potato does, and you sort of cut through it. It just sort of break into crystals. You have a look at it, and a tentative taste tastes like a normal potato it just seems to be the way that these have been cultivated in this stone has affected it in some way I shall write crop of stone potatoes <laughs> <laughs> I mean you know, when they you, go rotten does that mean like, <laughs> it's just rock rocks. <laughs> <laughs> rock lobster is a thing rock potato yeah. why stop at lobsters Alright. Is anyone else doing anything whilst uh, you are taking a short rest? I'm probably just having a rest. Just help just chilling with Smokey a little bit. Probably um hyping about how good Smokey was in the fight. Like, and then you crawled in and then his leg <laughs> fell off and Smokey's just there like, Yeah, I know. And he's probably just, like there. lying on his back and whilst I'm like fussing his belly, he's like, You are such a good you're such a good lizard. Lizard. Dragon. You are such a good dragon. You're a good little You called me a what? The MVP. <laughs> yeah, you say lizard. Who's, a good, who's a good fighter? Not a lizard. Who's, <laughs> who's a good fighter? You are... We don't use the L word. <laughs> no. Can I pop the mask on? You can. It does fit. Oh, fantastic. It stinks. <laughs> it smells terrible. <laughs> I like that you did that when there's a river, just (laughs) (laughs) common. Um, What's everyone's past perception? 12, 12, 9, 11, 11, 17, 17, okay. You would hear this as you're sort of spitting in the mask and taking this all to the end of the short rest. You just hear a distant... No, no, (laughs) no. (laughs) Getting closer. We may wish to enter the humble abode and uh, be quiet. And that's where we'll end this week's session. (laughs) As far as as humanly possible. As Cassio hoys under the blankets on the bed. (laughs) Under the bed.
<laughs> that is where we shall end for That's this year. Yeah. Yeah. And this is where we shall end for this year. Yes. I was really thinking they were going to say, oh, and it's the, the Griffin. It's Dash. It's Dash. Dash. Yes, that is, uh, that is where we come to. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here and joining us from the raids that uh, popped along. Thank you for the bits and the cheers and everything, saying hello. We really, really appreciate it. It's been great fun having you here for this year. We will uh, we'll be back in the new year. Keep an eye out on our Instagram and our socials, um, Twitter and such. I can find us at Crypt Survive. We will be back doing various things. Is there anyone doing anything at the moment that we might want to go and Might we we'll be doing a board game stream before the new year? We are yes. not. Okay. I am busy, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Weird. Just wondering. Uh, there is nobody I can raid into to try to do more. Oh, we don't have that all set up yet. So, uh, until we see you again, thank you very much everyone for watching. Take care of yourself. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Whatever you celebrate, we will see you in the new year. Thank you very much. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.